What's up guys? Uh, it's Tyler with Serious Archery Products. For today's video, we're gonna walk you through um, pretty much a full arrow build um, and what that's gonna consist of for our full customization option. Um, and we've got some Apollo 250s that we're gonna run for that and we'll get right into it. All right, so here, um, first thing we're gonna do um, after we've got the shafts weight matched um, and got the appropriate amount, we're gonna put them on our spine aligning machine here and we're gonna go ahead and mark that spine. So we're just gonna suspend that weight off of there. And then as we rotate the shaft, this pressure gauge is going to show us where that spine's at. So we're just gonna slowly rotate it without adding any extra pressure. And then we're gonna find that spine and we're gonna take our silver Sharpie right behind the label and just throw a little mark on there for reference. All right, so next step, we're gonna bring them over here to the saw. Um, these arrows are gonna be cut at 28 inches carbon to carbon. And because of that, we're actually gonna cut off of both ends. Um, I'm gonna make my first cut off the backside and then cut the rest off the front. This just helps get the straightest arrow possible on some of these shorter shafts because your straightest portion of carbon is always gonna be in the center. So the closer we can get that down to the center, the better these shafts are gonna be. So next step after cutting uh, is we're gonna square up both ends. Since we did cut both ends, it's always a good idea to just go ahead and square both sides. Um, it's important on the knock and the insert side. With this last chance aerosol, the square is actually built in, so it's nice and quick and efficient uh, with having that power squaring device on there. Uh, we do have a hand squaring device uh, for sale on our website that is accompanied with our aero spinner that also works really well for this. Step. All right guys, so now we're into the fletching stage of this Apollo build. We've got all of our shafts here, knocks are in, everything's squared, ready to go. And the next step is we're going to take some 99% isopropyl alcohol and we're going to go ahead and clean off this back portion where the fletchings are going to be on um, just to make sure we get um, the best adhesion possible. You pretty much are going to want to do this um, with any vein or wrap that you're going to put on. You're going to want to make sure you clean the back of the shaft for any carbon dust or oils. Um, and get that off before you go ahead and start. All right, we've got all the shafts cleaned and prepped. Um, we have this nifty little fletching jig here. Um, it's just six Bitsenberger jigs that are all set the same on this little Lazy Susan wheel, so that way we can fletch more efficiently. Um, but all of these principles and everything that we're gonna talk about is gonna be the same if you're just using one jig in your home shop. So for this build, we are using AAE Max Stealth veins. It's one of our favorite veins. Um, it steers fixed blades very well. Um, we're gonna be doing them in a four fletch. An important thing with these veins is they do require a primer pen. So we have the AAE Maxwell primer pen here as well to use for these to get the proper adhesion. All right, so we just finished up the last vein going around. They turned out really nice. You can see that good helical on them. We did a right helical on these. Look pretty sharp. So they're gonna go on and next thing's gonna be putting the inserts in them. All right, so we are on to the final stage of this build um, and that's gonna be putting in these inserts. These are gonna be aluminum post, stainless steel sleeve, Apollo half jacket systems. They're going in at full length, 100 grains. Um, and this build is going to utilize a 150 grain broadhead, or sorry, a 125 grain broadhead 
Um, we're going to have a total error weight of about 565 grains when they're all finished up, which is a really good middle of the road setup, um, kind of a good all around do anything setup. Um, and they're going to be really happy with the performance. All right, so we've got all the inserts installed here on these Apollo shafts. Um, we've got them in our drying racks that we made here to make sure everything stays vertical. It helps uh, make sure that epoxy is concentric and you're not getting any sagging that's gonna cause a wobble um, once it dries. Um, the glue will typically um, dry up and be ready to go after about an hour, but we always recommend leaving them overnight if possible and not shooting them right away just to make sure that everything sets up correctly. So that's what we're gonna do with these shafts. We're gonna leave them overnight. We'll pick back up with the final step in the morning. All right guys, it's the next morning. We've went ahead and pulled all of our shafts out, checked everything, cleaned up our extra epoxy residue, and the last step for our customizations is going to be applying our seriously slick carbon shaft conditioner to the shafts before they go out. This really helps preserve the life of the carbon as well as making them a lot easier to remove from targets. Um, and it's just an all around good practice to have um, every couple weeks or every so often of shooting to just go ahead and reapply this conditioner. There's a lot that comes in this tin. It'll get a lot of life out of it. And like I said, it really helps your carbon, but that's gonna be our last step before we get them packaged up and sent out. All right guys, we've got these shafts all covered with the conditioner and now they're ready to get packaged up and sent out to their new owner.